Why, Father? Why did you do this to me? Handle it first thing in the morning. Okay, I'll call you back. My darling. Mercy! Mercy! Yes, madam. Mercy, what is this? Why is he still in his uniform? What happened to his housewares and why is everywhere littered like this? Madam, no vex. Welcome first. See, the thing be say, he don't tell who go come back from school, lo. I don't they ask him, waiting they worry him. I don't pray. I don't beg him. I don't even they talk, they talk, the thing why no no. But to go no agree answer me. The thing when he do be say he just sit down there. They, they cry like that. I won't carry this bag when he come back from school. Who go won't fight me. He don't fight me finish. So I say, make I leave him now. Make I go they do waiting that they do for, for inside. But now when you don't come back, maybe you go help me ask him. And he go tell you. <sighs> leave us. Come on, take, take this. Take these things in. Take it in. My darling, you're not looking happy at all. Come and talk to mommy. What is wrong? Your father? Hmm? That is all I have grown up to hear. Now I have just come to realize that I don't I truly don't have a father. Don't say that, okay? You have a father. He is your father. Mom, I'm ten years now. I should know a father is a human, not a photograph. Of course your father is human. He is human. Then I have also come of age to know if he died before I was born. Stop it. Do you hear me? Stop it. I told you your father is based in the US. I was pregnant with you when he won the lottery and left. He works in a bank in America just like I work in a bank here. And you know bankers were always busy because they are accountable for other people's money. Okay? That's why he hasn't been able to come back for some time now. Don't worry yourself. Very soon, you will meet your father. Okay, just give us a little time. Hmm? Everywhere I go, my friends make fun of me. They even call me bastard. What? No, 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 come on. Come on, you're not a bastard. And don't mind your friends. Hmm? Very soon, all of them will be put to shame when he comes back. Because he will come back very soon.
Hey, my friend. Since when did this place come to your car park? May the peace of the Lord be with you. Uh, you see, I did not intend to park here. I was just trying to make a U-turn and the car stopped and refused to start. I've been trying everything I could to, to start it, but it has refused to start. I don't know if you could just help me, so I, I, I push it off the wheel. Me? Is that an insult or what? I am not. Is that an insult or what? I am not. I said Come on. Give me an Chief, I don't know why this man refused to tell me why he turned this place to a car park. The peace of the Lord be with you. Shut up. I don't. I said, shut up. Why have you decided to disrupt my movement? I don't. I see. You don't understand. Rambo. Yes, boy. Make him understand. Go down on your knees. Good. Now. Boys. Please, right? Yes, sir. It's all right. Um, just um, hold forth, okay? I'll soon be with you people, okay? okay.
Jaho Jaho Jaya Jaho Jabulo 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 Show her to me A woman in labor Mom, Let's welcome, see. Mama. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Uh -huh. How is everybody? Mama, everybody is fine. Uh -huh. What of Ugo, my grandson? Uh, is he back from school? Ugo, the inside. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You never say when you come back. Oh, dear man. Oh, dear man. Oh, dear man. Hey! Ugo, Baba! Yeah! Ugo, Baba. Ugo, Baba. Ugo, Baba. Ugo, how was school today? School was fine, Grandma. I hope you're doing well academically. Yes, Grandma. Eh, I know you won't forgive me if I didn't buy your favorite offer. It's inside. Yes, yes. That's my sweet Grandma. That will make a good dinner. Hey! Supple! Supple, you know? Ngwa, the girl, the girl, the girl. Ugo, Ugo. I bought everything in this side of It's inside. <laughs> Anita, I'm happy the way God has blessed you. But there are still things left for you to do. You are not getting any younger. It's time you give a man your hand in marriage. Mama. I can't believe you brought me out this early morning to, 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 to start up this matter again. I thought we have concluded this. Yes, we have. But what happened? I'm not happy the way you are living without a husband. I have a husband and you know him. So why would you want me to marry another man? Why? Anita, you only had a child for Kendo. He has not paid your bride price. Moreover, he is nowhere to be found. He doesn't even know that you have a child for him. Mama, I cannot believe you just said that. It's either Kendo or no one else. What? Why? Why? Because I lost my heart to him the very day I fell in love with him. Hey. Mama, let me just make it clear to you. I'd rather die than stop loving Kendo. No, you can't talk like... Mama, please, just stop it. Stop it. It's too late to start convincing me, okay? Stop. Anita, it's not late. Mama, I said you should stop it. Just stop it. Let me tell you something, Mama. When it concerns my love for Kendo, there is no turning back. Period. Hey! Mama. Hey! 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 
shit you be doing tomorrow. Hey, for no more. <laughs> Grandma, why are you crying? <laughs> Mom, do you know why Grandma is crying? Mama, why are you crying? Mama, I'm asking you, why are you crying? You're asking me why I'm crying. As if you don't know. <laughs> Mama, is this what you came here to give me? Eh? Tears and agony instead of peace and succor. To so wake me up in the morning with weeping and sorrow, Mama. Is it fair? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mama. You have tried. Thank you. Come. <laughs> Jayo Jahum, Jajabla. Jayo Jahum, Jajabla. Jayo Jahum, Jajabla. Jajabla, Jajabla. Great and mighty Atacama, we have brought before thee our sacrifice. Believe it that you shall accept our sacrifice for our own good. Jayo Jahum, Jayo Jahum, Jayo Jahum, Jayo Jahum, Jayo Jayo Jahum Jayo Jahum Jayo Jahum The Almighty Atacama has consecrated this human flesh. We shall eat this human flesh as a renewal of our communion with Atacama deity. May his blessings be upon us. Mighty Atacama, the benevolent, we shall serve you forever.
this human blood has been made pure and invigorated by our Takam. We shall drink this human blood as a covenant with the deity that we serve. Once again, I congratulate you, members of Atakama, brother. As we all know, any person who becomes a member of this brotherhood has vowed to diligently serve Atakama for the rest of his life. For 10 years now, Kendo Morris has broken this rule. His period of grace is over. He is therefore as good as dead. The mighty oracle that we serve has therefore commanded that his son replaces him in this brotherhood. Exalted one, uh, Kendo's son is a very small boy. Uh, do you think the soul can stand the stress of the rituals of the brotherhood? I don't think so. The ways of men are not the ways of Atakam. At the behest of the great deity. It must be done at the behest of the great deity. Dr. Noah Akasa, you have been chosen for this assignment. You shall take away the soul of Kendall Morris' son and replace it with the soul of wickedness and brutality. I am forever loyal, exalted one. I shall guide you on how to initiate him into the Atacama brother. Jayo Jahum. Jayo Jahum. Jayo Jahum. My daughter. Mm. Anita, I'm your mother and I want the best for you. I understand you love Kendo. Yes, that was when he was there for you. How many years now you've not set your eyes on him? Not even a phone call. You can move on with your life. <gasps> it is not possible. What is not possible? Is there more to your relationship with him that I don't know? Because your persistence is scaring me. <sighs> yes. Yes. 
And what is it? I love him. And I promised to love him forever. So, I'll wait for him forever. Even if he's dead? Mama, don't you ever say that again. Don't you ever say that again. He is not dead, Mama. He is very much alive and I'm very sure he will come back soon. He will come back, back soon. He will, he will come back. That's all I've been hearing from you. That he will come back soon. And he's nowhere to be found. Anita, why not open your eyes and read the handwriting on the wall? Mama, I beg you in the name of God. Drop this matter. Please drop it. Don't I have a right to live my life the way I want it? Don't I? Mama, let me be, oh. Let me be. Anita, I understand everything. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you hurting yourself? Why have you refused to choose a good life for yourself? There are many well-to-do men out there coming for your hand in marriage. And here you are claiming to be in love with a good husband. Mama, you know what? You are pushing me too hard. You are pushing me too hard. And I cannot take it. I can't. This is too much. I can't take it. I just cannot take it. Anita, are you asking me out of your house? Not exactly, Mama, but you need to go. Oh, I need to sleep over this. I need, I need to think. Anita, you are asking me, your mother, out of your house. Uh, Hey! I just need to Don't worry, don't worry, I'm going. Okay. <laughs> ah, Mama! Where hey, are you going? Hey. Mama Mpano, why are you going now? Eh? You said I should leave your house. That's what I'm doing. Not like this. Go, 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 go. Let me drop you now. Mama, let me at least drop you. Anita, that is what I'm doing. I should not say you should. It's okay. Mama, it's not fair, Mama, 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 Mama. Mama, this is not fair. Mama, it's just one person that you are heaping all this trouble on for in our head. It's not fair now, Mama. No, why have Grandma refused to stay? I don't know. I don't know. My son, she didn't tell me. She even refused that you drop her at the park. Yes, she did. What do you want me to do? Eh? I have tried. I want to go with her. Eh? Mama! 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 How are you this morning? Oh my boy. Oh. I am not fine, Doctor. He's my only child. I know, I know, I know, okay? Don't worry, you have every reason to feel the way you do. But nothing will happen to him. God is in charge. Amen. Amen. Does he have something to eat? Um, my house girl will be bringing it any moment from now. Very well then. Don't worry, madam, okay? He will um, certainly go well soon, okay? I'll call from time to time to check on him, all right? Madam, 
na traffic and the thing is too much for road. No best. Get to work now. Hmm? Please feed him. Feed him very well. Let him eat well. And then you stay here with him in case he needs something. Okay? Yes, madam. Good morning, my boy. Uchuka, how are you doing today? Huh? I see. <laughs> Doctor, good morning. Good morning, my dear. How are you? I did fine. Good. Uh, does he have something to drink? Yes, Doctor. I carry water from Fara. No, 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 no. He needs um, something like a fruit juice, you know. It's going to help him recuperate and uh, subsequently get well soon, okay? Mm. So quickly, uh, rush to the um, reception. Tell the nurse there to give you a fruit juice, okay? Okay. Ugo, are they coming here? Yeah? Ugo! Don't worry, you'll get away from the sun. Don't leave me behind here. Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? Here, take your food, okay? Oh, make sure you finish your food all alone, okay? Don't share your food with anybody, okay? Huh? You're gonna get well soon, okay? Yeah. Father, I told her everything you asked me to tell her, but she wouldn't listen. The only response I got from my daughter was to send me out of her house. You mean I need to send you out of her house? My daughter sent me out of her house. My nine months suffering in the rain and in the sun. My 18 years of single parents agony cast me out of her house like I was the devil. Blessed Jesus. I still don't believe Anita can do such a thing. 
You see, my daughter, you see, the Lord has revealed to me that there's a very strong spirit. There's a strong spirit that is controlling her. I mean, there's no, there's no young woman that is with her normal senses, that is sane. I will be impregnated by a man, abandoned by that same man for over 10 years. I mean, she's still talking and waiting for eternity for that same man. It's not possible. When there are many men out there, there's so many suitors and the world waiting for her and she's still waiting for just one particular man that's something behind that father father you have to help me i've done everything i don't know what else to do i don't know what else to do my words and tears has no meaning to my daughter please <laughs> I know you are the only one that can talk sense into her. Yes. So, what do you suggest I do? Father, I know my daughter will listen to you. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for as you reveling to me. I thank you, Lord, because you are the beginning and the end of every problem. And I know this problem has been solved. Thank you, Father, for this revelation. Thank you, Lord. My daughter, I, I want you to go home. Continue with your prayers. And on our own side, we'll be praying as well. Keep praying. Hold that strong faith that you've always held on to. Because it is your key. Go back home. I'll get back to you after my prayers. Okay? Don't worry. Our Lord God will not let you down. You're blessed. You can go. I don't know where to start from. I told you that with money all girls are possible. Didn't I tell you that? It's always been your slogan. Very well, then. <laughs> uh, well, you can see the way she shapes out. She keeps you awake till morning. All her problems are firmly behind her. <laughs> 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 
This one believes in speed. She doesn't waste time. The moment you, she's on you. She's already in a hurry, this one. Uh, never. Uh, excuse me. What is your goal? A A T. A A. Please come see me in my hospital tomorrow. No okay. problem, so. Mm -hmm. Modeling after Stephanie Okereke. Okay, Stephanie? Okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I see. Uh, let's see. Uh... Mm. Uh, what? Uh, Chivo, I think uh, I can't have your Obama here. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, that's a fine material you have on. Good tailoring. We live by the day. Blood, 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 money coming from the blood bank. <laughs> what about your assignment? Done already. Done already. What do you mean done? Wait. You have initiated that boy? Chief, oh, there are certain questions you should be ask. Within such a short space of time? Because in this brotherhood of ours, okay, we're not known for wasting time. You can say it again. Congratulations. Thank you. I think we shall toast to that. Yes. To the new brother. Oh, yes. To the small Kendo. <laughs> so tell me, Chibo, that brings me to the issue of... Uh, the wife thing. Have you been able to find one? Hey, no. It's been very difficult, brother. I've got to tell you the truth. Extremely difficult. First, I did not know why it was happening to me. Then I decided to investigate. And I came to realize that the women already know that I've married five women in five years and that they have all disappeared. So they're avoiding me. Let me quickly ask, what about these ones that just left here now? <laughs> Doc, you must be a joker. These ones who came out with me? You mean you couldn't find a wife out of them? <laughs> Trying to find a virgin within them. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. They know they are not the commander. I mean, they're all here for fun. And they're catching it seriously. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't talk about them, please. Okay, I'm only concerned because the deadline is fast approaching. Yes, I know that in the next couple of weeks, the time will be up, but I'm pretty positive. I'm still hopeful that I'll, I'll get a virgin before the time is up. You know my philosophy. With money, all girls are possible. I know. I, I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll get one. Yeah. Um, should I also take it that maybe these ones know that after one year they'll be gone? I'll marry you for one year, at the end of which Atakama takes over. Then the girl will gradually dematerialize. Not my own fault. That's Atakama's arrangement. Good. Well, um, it's still okay. 
uh, something has to give way for so for another to come in. That is a law of nature. You can't change it. By the way, what about your assignment for the month? Chief, you're funny. We're talking about the assignment for next month. We're talking about this month. It's done, forgotten. You mean you have completed the assignment for the month? I don't have one. Once again, I welcome us all to this great special forum of women bankers delegates. And I pray to God in his infinite mercies to grant us the capability to shoulder this responsibility given to us by our great union. Amen. I must also say it is a great privilege that we were selected by consensus among many. That alone should be enough motivation to deliver a selfless service to our dear union. I am sure we are all ready for this great task. Yes. Good. Now the first item on my agenda is the convenience. I'm sorry, Chair Lady. Yes? I think we are already failing our union in one way. <laughs> Pardon me? There was a criteria clearly stated for selecting members of this great union. <laughs> How do you mean? It seems there's a blatant breach of such criteria. Yes. It was stipulated that special delegates must comprise of members that are married and maintain reputable home. <laughs> and so? So, then, this woman here is not qualified to be a part of this great family. What do you mean by that? Hold on, Mrs. Morris. I will handle this. Mrs. Izuka, is this a transfer of aggression or what? Not at all, Chair Lady. It's just that a member out there already complaining. Excuse me? Yes? Mrs. Izuka. Yes? I must say I'm highly disappointed in you. I'm totally disappointed in you. I mean, how could you? How could you have come up with such an unreasonable interruption even when the Chair Lady is talking? Please, if you have any scores with Mrs. Morris here, you can settle that after this meeting. I bet you, this forum is not a platform for you to settle your differences. Yes. Excuse me, I'm sorry, Charlie. I was just trying to serve this great forum. Some questionable deeds. This woman, Anita, is still a spinster. How dare you? How dare you say that? Are you the mother of my son? Yeah. Are you? Answer, answer that question. Answer, 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 yes, I'm sorry. Okay, I will. I will. We attended the same university. Her boyfriend, Kendo, impregnated her, dumped her, and went to America. And so what? Yes. She's yet to be married to him. That's why I feel that she's not in anywhere qualified to be in this great union. Mrs. Morris, Mrs. Morris, come back. I, I can handle it. Mrs. Please Morris. What is all this? I'm so sorry, Miss Morris. The landlord instructed me not to let out his property to a widow. A widow? God forbid! I am not a widow. My husband is very much alive and kicking. No, no, I did not call you a widow. But you see, yesterday, after we saw him, he insisted that he sees your husband. I did all I could to convince him that you are married, but he still insisted on seeing your husband before he lets out his property to you. But my husband is based in America. He was the one that actually sent the money for me to rent the property. Oh, I'm so sorry, madam. I'm really, really sorry. 
You see what I suggest? Let your husband have the phone number of the landlord with which he will call the landlord directly from abroad. I'm sure he will be encouraged to let the property to you. Is that the only way out? Better still, convince any of his relatives or his close friend to stand in for your husband. Hey. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much, Barrister. Thank you. It's all right. I'm grateful, madam. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. No. It's a pleasure, madam. It's okay. I'll be back. Oh, I'll be expecting you. Um. Uncle, please. My, my landlord served me a notice to quit my apartment. The period of grace will expire by the end of the month. I have found another apartment. But the landlord said he would not let me in until I get my husband's relative. So I have come to beg you to please help me. Help me. Come and stand in for your brother. Please. <clears throat> you said I am Kendo's brother. Uncle, of course, you're, you're my husband's elder brother. Anita, Anita, take a look at me. Do I look like someone whose brother is working in the World Bank in America? Oh God, what reason do I have to appreciate the fact that my own younger brother, whom I sacrificed my beloved discussion for, to see that he finished secondary school, whom I suffered under the rain and scorching sun, to see that he went to the university. All he could do was to go to America and be sending dollars to you, Anita. You, Anita. And you have the guts to come to a poor and a wretched and forsaken man like me to sanctuary for you. Anita, you are a liar. You are a liar. Now, what had happened to all the men you spent my brother's dollars on? Hey, uncle! No, 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 no! Hold, 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 um, it. Um, hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hey. Also, what has happened to all the houses you have built all this and in this city? Anita, do you think we don't know that you, Anita, is the witch that the worst came to my brother, just for turning him against his family? We, we knew. Uncle, please. Kendo has never sent a dime to me. Never. I can't even remember the last time I talked to him. I said, lie! Lie! Honestly, eh? You can't leave the goose life with fishes in the ocean. Or still better, to the rats in their hooves. Anita, please. Please. Don't ever you remind me of what I've forgotten. You are evil legs out of my slum. I've learned my lessons. I said I've learned my lessons. Uncle, Uncle, I, I swear, I swear, I don't know Kendo's whereabouts. I don't even know where he is. He, he kept me in the dark as well. I don't know. Believe me, I'm telling you the truth. I don't know where he is. Because, Uncle, just help me out. Help me and do this thing. Do you want me to stay under the sun? Because, Look, come and help me. I will without the crocodile tears. I said, I will without the crocodile tears. You are a complete disgrace to humanhood. To I said, To Get out! Out! I said, Out! I said, Out! Silly. After eating my brother's money, come to ask me to be a shorty to you. Nonsense. Kendo, 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 why, why are you doing this to me? Why? This was not the love you promised me in the beginning. Why have you given the world a chance to make fun of me? For all the love, the sacrifices, everything. This is what you pay me back with. Well, 
I still love you. And I will wait for you. Only death will do us part. with a knife. I'd rather die than have the world call me a bastard. Hey, go. Don't harm yourself. Just drop the knife. Drop it. Nobody will call you a bastard. You are not one. Eh? Biko, drop the knife. Too late, ma'am. I'm already used to that name. You refuse to tell me the truth about my father. Let me save myself the shame. This evil, eh? Come. I know this is not your idea. So tell me, who told you to do this? The dictionary. Huh? The dictionary. How? It gave no good meaning of a bastard. Are you now saying that you no longer believe your mother? Is that what you're telling me? How many times have I told you that you're not a bastard? How many times? The dictionary says I am. Will you shut up there? Shut up! If I hear that word from your mouth again, I will go in there, get again, and flog you very well. Then who am I? You are Ugona Morris. Do you hear me? You are Ugona Morris. If they ask you, tell them that is who you are. Okay? No. Look there. That is your father. That's your father. You're not a bastard. You're not a bastard. Eh? How many times do you want me to tell you this? You're not a bastard. Stop troubling and worrying yourself. Eh? Rico. voice of the revered Atacama. I know why you are here. The Atacama Oracle has charged me with a ritual of marrying a virgin and dispensing with her at the end of each year. I have successfully done this for the past five years. I know that the time is near for me to honor my commitment for this year, I have not forgotten. I will still do it. It is my responsibility. But I entreat you not to harm me, because I know I ought to do this. Please, give me a little time. I will honor my responsibility. I promise you. Death and life lies your hands. Do what? Be wise! Be wise!
I am totally disappointed with all of you. Completely. With all the money at your disposal, the exotic cars, the influence you command, the connections you have, you can find me the cheapest commodity in any town. A virgin girl. And yet you know that I have eight days, only eight days to produce a virgin girl. You do nothing but gallivant. Come in here and tell me that you, you've been going around the town and looking for a virgin. And you expect me to clap for you. All right. What is your problem? Let me hear you. Yes, Chief. You know we'll be working so hard to get one. Just that it's been impossible to find your next wife in this city. And everyone has known how it's been. They're scared they might die. Good. All right. Let's assume they're all scared to die. We'll get outside the city and get me a virgin. I mean, if you can't find one within, get outside. Look, I don't care where the virgin comes from. Let me just have a virgin as a wife. That's all. Chief, that's exactly what I have done. I found one on Facebook. You're silly. You found a virgin on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Aren't you sounding stupid? What guarantee do you have that she's a virgin? I'm asking you. Chief, that's no reason why I'm particularly interested in her. No. So what are you waiting for? Spoil her with money. Mesmerize the entire family. Hypnotize them. Let them realize that the money man has come. Look, tell them that at last their Messiah is here. Tell them that. You have all it takes to do that, don't you? Come on. Yes, boss. Chief. Yes. I found one in this city. And she's your speck. I'm already sweeping her off her feet with wisdom and money. I don't believe in cock and bull stories. I believe in action. Rambo. Yes, boss. You're an idiot. Yes, boss. Agama. Yes, boss. You're a buffoon. Thank you, sir. Cross. Yes, boss. You're an income poop. Yes, boss. Good. Bazooka. Yes, boss. Gallant. Three of you make up a trio of stupidity. You do nothing but move around. You've been able to execute no assignment for me at all. Listen. I am giving all of you three days within which to find me a virgin. Three days to find me a virgin. If you don't, I will help all of you appreciate a little bit of hell. Do you understand me? Yes, Have I understood? Yes, yes, yes boss. Be on your way. Lizzie, I have every reason to be worried. I don't even know this person. He follows me everywhere I go. Not just that, he reads my mind and follows me everywhere I go. He even arrives my destination before I get there. He pays for everything I buy and I'm scared. I think he's a ghost. A ghost? Come on, Becky. You've got a secret admirer. Maybe he just wants to impress you before coming out. There is something about this person that scares me. He has influence everywhere. People respect him. Then it's your golden opportunity. Grab it. Since he pays for everything you buy, I think it's high time you got a car. Lizzie. Yes. Even if this person is a secret admirer, don't you think it's stupid to stop such amount from him? If he can't afford it, he'll be forced to show himself or back off. Friend, think about it. Having a car is not a bad idea. But what if he buys me a car? How will I tell people that a ghost bought me a car? Doesn't that sound so stupid? <sighs> it will sound stupid to think he's a ghost. This is one wealthy flesh and blood admiring you secretly. Scared. 
so scared. No worry, eh? No worry. We'll be fine, okay? You can see the boat though, it's very, very okay. The tires are quite strong. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, but let's see all the tires. Um, this Highlander Toyota. It's, it's a nice one too. You understand? You can see the Lucha wild conditioner. Or maybe probably you can go for this too. You know? But it's okay. Um, I might actually use a space for us. I like them too. Okay, what about you go for this? Because it's very, very okay. You get, you can see the wheel is a sliver wheel. Okay. Hey, congratulations! Five million naira have just been deposited in my account on your behalf. By who? Anonymous. Anonymous. Yeah. Come, 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 come. So you, you can now go for this. Hey. Oh, do, do you want this? Oga. Shege, Walker, pack all these cars, pack everything. I don't want. Lizzie, I'm going. Come talk to her. You talk to your friend. Becky, come. What's 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 all this? See, I can't refund this money back, oh. Lizzie, I told you a ghost is following me. Or how do I explain this? I can't go to the market or anywhere else to buy something. All I hear is someone has paid for you. Someone has paid for you. Who is he? Anonymous? What more proof do I need to know than being followed by a ghost? It amazes me too. I was totally wrong to assume it's, it's a secret admirer. What does he really want from you? Have you had an encounter with a ghost before? Never. Do you have an ex-boyfriend who is now late? No. At times I thought this was all a dream. But I just realized this is as large as life. Gosh, I'm finished. Well, if this is what ghosts are like, I think it's high time I started looking for my own ghost partner. Lizzie! Yes, just tell me the secret. I want my own ghost now. I can't believe you could be so ridiculous. I'm talking about my life here, not being saved in the hands of a ghost. And here you are making mockery of me. I suppose you know mockery when you see one. This is serious business. A ghost who pays for everything you buy, from the cheapest biscuit to the most expensive car you lay your hands on. Come on, Becky, just tell me you're already feeling like a queen. Enough. All I want is a way out. And I want a way in. You are definitely not followed by a ghost. You have found favor in the eyes of the wealthiest man in the city. And what you've just seen is a peep into the pub. Excuse me, may I know who you are? Just a fortunate young man who draws favor from the same world you are about to possess. I still don't understand. What world are you talking about? By the virtue of his wealth and powers, people call him the Messiah. But he has preferred to be called your husband. Excuse me, would you mind being a little bit clearer with your identity or the so-called Messiah? This is what I call discussion for next time. We meet at the dawn explicit tomorrow, 5 p.m. perfect time. A car will be parked outside with a driver and you guys destination is their command
now the place be this. Are you sure? I'm very, very sure it's this place. Very sure, huh? Yes. Thank you. Okay. My money. You need to help me. Uh, th this is all I got. Let, let, let me just have some to sh show my wife. Okay, God will bless you. Right? Yeah. Now turn like a fire your mouth. You know, I can drive you all the whole round all this way. This, I'll try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me you, you, want, you, want, you, want, you want to go and see your wife. You get locked. I will design the other thing for your face. Now who you define? Anita. <laughs> now him you come, they knock like say you know where you they go. Yeah. Is it this uh, is it 16 of the crystal? Uh-huh. Now this place, who you they find? My wife, Anita. Her name is Kenda, my husband. Huh? What did I hear you say? Husband. <laughs> hey! Chai! Oh, mercy. I know no saying a madman when me and him stand here since. You be like say your own madness just a start today. Nonsense. Come on for here, Jerry. Fine wife. Nonsense. You don't have to do that. Just help me. If this is my wife's name, you help me. Bring me to the Huh? You don't have to talk about to me. If you know where my wife stays, just help me bring her out. Anita! 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 Hello, mister. Are you okay? Are you okay? Mm. Oh my god. Kendo. Kendo. Anita. Yes. Hey. Ah! 
Hey! God, I thank you. I knew you hadn't forsaken me. I knew you won't forget me. I thank you. Thank you. I thank you. Hey! Get up. Just get up. Get up. <laughs> come. Get up. Come. Who is here? Come. Just go inside. Give it to me. Oh, God. When I got to America, I had a miraculous open door. I got a very good job in a bank. I was, I was doing pretty well. And then there was this Nigerian pastor who was making so much waves in the States at that time. And even the whites saw him as a Messiah. His church grew like wildfire. And then the, uh, the church services had to be moved to the national stadium because of space. The church needed money to build a big cathedral that would contain about 100,000 worshipers. The church needed about $300 million. At that time, the church had just $100 million. And then, being a member of the church, I took it upon myself to help them get along. I made it work. I got them this money, $200 million. The day the money was given to this pastor, that day marked the beginning of darkness in my life. As I speak to you, from that day to this moment, I never set my eyes on the so-called man of God again. Nigerians. They thought it was a setup. They thought I had a hand in it. And everything was taken from me. They took my house, my job, everything I had, all my documents, my papers were taken away. Then I was sentenced to 10 whole years imprisonment. I just got out a few days ago and I was deported to Nigeria. Please, my love. Look at me. Please. Find it in your heart to forgive me. I know I've wronged you. I know I wronged you. I know I wronged our son. I suffered. I know. I suffered. Look at me. It's okay. Come, come, come. You don't have to worry. I love you. Like yesterday. And I will love you forever. And I will make sure you see the light again. Hmm? The most important thing is that you are here now. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Sweetheart, I don't know why my spirit keeps leading me this way. I'm becoming sure that it's the voice of God. Father H.E.K. is a powerful man of God. God has used him to bless so many families with the fruit of the womb. Would you? Pastors are not God. They don't make babies. What about the ones that God uses? <laughs> For crying out loud, would you? 
God uses any money he chooses to use. But don't forget he created us all equally and in his own image. We don't need to fall back on a man to make babies. No, we don't. That would amount to idolatry. Again, don't forget that the God we serve is a jealous God. Sweetheart, we really need this baby. We need this baby. Yes, we do, would you? I know. But let's wait on God's time. Let's wait on God's time. He has given his servant power to break all the yoke and affliction. Let's take the bold step of faith, okay? Please, honey. So that forget about all that. Forget about it. Now you listen to me. I am a renowned medical doctor in this city. A known medical doctor. And I understand the biology of making children. Pastors only preach the word. They lack the scientific comprehension of human procreation. And you don't expect a, a medical guru, a medical giant like I am, okay, to perch on the shoulders of a novice, you know, to teach me my profession. Of course not. Or is that what you want? Only we are talking spiritually here. Oh, would you? So I now have a spiritual problem. No, I didn't say that. You are telling me that I now have a spiritual problem, isn't it? I, I didn't say that. Congratulations, Dr. Noah Akasa. The Atacama Oracle has accepted your sacrifice and soul. In order for you to continue enjoying the riches and wealth of Atacama deity, you must go to the cemetery at midnight. You have to excavate corpses until you find a fresh female corpse. You will take her home and make her your wife. It's all that one. Marry a corpse? The ways of Atacama are not the ways of men. You must make love to her as if she is a living human being. Well, exalted one, what, what will happen to the woman I propose to? I love her and I want to marry her. That's the reason I'm here, so I could make money. If you must marry her, you must sacrifice her womb. And you must not make love to her first without making love to your first wife. Son of man, hearken to the laws of Atacama. There's no way back. I'm sorry. Leave me alone. I didn't mean to. Would you just leave me alone? Oh, please, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you, just please. Would you leave me alone? I'm sorry. Please, I'm just, sorry. Just leave me alone, please. Just, just leave me alone. I'm sorry. Leave me alone.
Move. Can you move? Would you please, please just I'm move? Sorry. Move. Please. Would you please just leave me alone, please? Would you please leave me alone? One of the chief O's men. Oh, great to have you, sir. Yes. Can I have the attention of your manager? Perfectly. That's good. But before then, how much does it cost to make use of this your bar for a day? This whole place. 2.6 million naira, sir. 2.6 million naira? Very well then. This is, um, oh, I'll make it $30,000. This is $30,000. Take it. Chief OO, who want to make use of this bar for today. Now, and forget about their drinks. We will pay for the whole drinks taken here for today. So I want everybody to leave. Thank you. Money is the root of all evil. Men have sold their hearts to the devil. And cherish their wealth and their creator. Is 
this not Chief O.O. that you want me to get married to? Yes, young lady. Tfiakwa. Tfiakwa. Awo. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. How handsome you look right now. Thank you. Oh. Anything for you. This is the man I fell in love with. Uh, anyway, I I went shopping for you and I bought these things for you. Yes, I know you'll need it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, all these things for me. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming here. Thank you. Thank you. Anything for you. You know, if you could buy me all these things just to show me that you really love me, that means I should buy you the whole world to prove to you that I really love you beyond words. <laughs> if God doesn't bless me anymore, if he chooses not to bless me again, I'll be fine. You know why? Because you are enough blessing already. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Wow. Um, so, uh, before I forget, okay. I, um, there's this multi-million dollar company that I manage the account, and um, I talked with the manager. He assured me that you'll get a job there by the end of the month. Sweetie, what is it? The job. The, what's wrong? You, you don't want to work? I want to leave this country. What? You... You want to leave us again? No, oh no, no. of course not. Look. Come on, look at me. I once had a very good job in the States. I was working in a bank, a glorified job. Look at me. I, I, I can't even come out and walk on the streets because I'm, I'm so ashamed of myself. I don't want my friends to see me. I, I need to leave this country. So I, I, I want us to put some money together, you know, see how much we can raise so we can leave me, you and our son and go start something outside this country. Even if I can go to the States anymore, fine. We could go somewhere else, UK, anywhere. Please. Well, it's okay if that's what you want. We'll see how we can raise something. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. 
Mm, like I said, anything for you. All right, now, not like uh, I don't appreciate your effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Going inside, come out, come out. You're not going inside. Um, Why, uh, Mama? No, my daughter. You see, I have decided to come and see you since um, I've been sending your mother to tell you that I wanted us to see one on one. You see, there is this morning the Lord has been giving to me to give to you. The Lord is asking me to ask you to stop waiting for Kendo. <laughs> oh, that. See. The same Lord that is asking me to stop waiting has done it for me. He has done it for me. I am not waiting anymore. Mm -mm. I'm not waiting. Eh? In a prison. So are you trying to tell me that you found someone or you're still praying for the Lord to give you someone very special? <laughs> Father, the Lord is good. He has done it. He has provided me with someone special. Hey. Mm, he has. So hey! You're saying I'm going to see him very soon. Father, that is too far. He is here. You know, why not just, so, why not just come with me? Let's it's go inside. So you see him. <laughs> oh. Kenneth! Hmm? Kenneth! Oh, Mama? Mama? Hey. Kenneth, am I dreaming? Of course, you're not dreaming. It's, it's me. That's Kendall. Mama. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be. For the Kaina Biko, let's go. Mama, I thought you came to see us. Why are you leaving? We came to see you people, but I've seen enough. Okay, Bego. Father. Hey. 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 Kendo. Anita. Hey, what? <laughs> Baby, what are you thinking again? What's wrong? Eh? Worry is written all over your face. So just don't tell me there's nothing wrong. What is troubling your heart? Just go to bed, I'll, I'll be fine. Are you pushing me away? No, of course not. You know my worry is your worry. But you have a busy day tomorrow. You need to go to bed now, okay? How can I go to sleep when you're not sleeping? I can't do that. Let's go to bed, I'll join you, okay? No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. In fact, I'm going to stay awake with you. Stare at the wall or the ceiling until you tell me what the problem is. <clears throat> oh, all right. Uh, 
you know, I, I, I told you, I want us to leave this country. Yeah. I, I really want us to do that fast. Because I don't want my friends to start seeing me. And, and I know they'll start to talk. I'm, I'm, I'm so ashamed of myself. And I know right now, I've, I've been in town for a while. The rumor is going to be everywhere. He came back from America 10 years without achieving anything. So I, I can't work here, right? I can't work here. I want to go. I want us to leave this country. But how do I do this? No money. Baby, I've told you. Don't worry. Be happy, okay? God will see to every of our needs. Come. Just be happy. Uh -huh. I just thought of something. The, the our, our family house, I think I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> Don't even bother. <clears throat> Your elder brother sold it five years ago. In my absence, what? How could, how could he do that? Well, his wife had breast cancer and he needed the money for her treatment. But unfortunately, the wife still died. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Baby, no, just, it's okay, just... Oh, please, just stop it. Like I said, everything will be fine. Be surprised, okay? It's okay. It's all right. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's all right. I'm, I'm fine. Hmm? Mm. All right. Let's go to bed. I assure you that your command shall be carried out by your loyal servant. I am already in the process of acquiring a virgin. Accept my gratitude for your presence. I thank you. cuts of all our outpatients that have not patronized us in the last two months on my table immediately. I will do that at once. Yeah. Uh, one more thing. I'm expecting one Dr. OG. If he comes, send him to my office.
جروم شتا جایو جهو جایو جهو My great benefactor, the humble and loyal servant, has come before you again. I present to you the cuts of my clients that have not been coming to the hospital for over two months now. Mighty Atakam, I beg of you, I ask of you, to inflict them with all sorts of sicknesses so they can come back to the hospital and patronize your loyal and humble servants and bring them money. Bring them money. So that I will continue to offer you the sacrifices you have demanded or offer to you all the time. And I shall offer you even more Great <laughs> Thank you, great Atacama. You have always been there for your noble servant. Continue to serve you. I will continue to serve you. Thank you. Once again. Rambo. Yes, boss. I have come to the conclusion that you're the biggest disappointment in the world. I created the necessary circumstances to enable you to succeed. You failed. Now let me tell you, if it is your intention to make me fall, let me disappoint you. You will fall before me. Is that clear? Yes, boss. But Chief, yes. we have concluded with Gail. On Facebook, she accepted the marriage proposal. Good. But. Shut up. Don't tell me anything. No but. Is she a virgin? Yes, but. That's what I want to hear. Make all the arrangements. We are going there for marriage and nothing else. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. Give me a bottle of wine, cold. Yes, boss. Good. Now wait. Tell Agama and Cross to get the car ready. We are leaving in the next couple of minutes. Yes, boss. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Good evening, Dad. Welcome.
Oh, my son, how are you? Honey, good evening. Good evening, my love. Mom, why is daddy talking like this? <laughs> because he needs to sleep. Hmm? So why don't you go in, have your shower, and make sure you do your homework, okay? I'm coming to supervise you. Oh, take him in. We'll drop this too. You're tipsy already. Huh? You're tipsy. I'm not tipsy. Alcohol wouldn't help anything. You think so? I disagree. At least it consoles my situation. It consoles me. Oh. Look at me. Hmm? Look at me. I'm a man with wings but cannot fly. A man who went from Nigeria to America to prison back to Nigeria. I've got dreams but no money. Let me... Uh -huh. Let me just... Baby, see, I've told you not to worry. Stop worrying yourself. I, I've raised some money. And then I hope to sell my car and shares by next week. At least I'm sure of six million naira. That will be enough for us to start making arrangements for our trip. Hmm? Hmm. Did I just... <coughs> did I just hear you say six million? Yes. You can raise six million naira? Yes. Yes, I, 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 I can. Oh. oh, my dear wife, God will bless you. God will bless you. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Don't worry, sir. So. Thank you. Um, so, let me just, please, just let me keep it for you. Thank you. received your message that you are coming to see us. Thanks almighty that you arrived here safely. My brother, to what do we owe this august visit? Uh, thank you for the question. I don't make it a duty getting into any house I see, so when I come into any house, there's a reason for it. It has pleased God to give me plenty of money. I'm a millionaire, really. Um, and you see, because by nature, I am not a greedy man, I want somebody to share my wealth with me. And I've decided on your daughter. Love it. That's why I came. Well, we would have asked further questions. But you've just mentioned our daughter's name. Let's call her. Baby dear. Okay. Uh, Chief, uh, there is cola not. Mm, well, don't worry. Later we can. Eat. I like cola not a lot. Later we'll get to cola not. Yeah.
This is the only love yet we have in this household. Is she the one you have come to take as your wife? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Let, let's begin with the business. Just an angel. You just ah, you, how do I repay you? I mean, to, to think you sold everything, your car, used up all the money in the in your account just, just to make sure we get these documents. Sweetie, we did it. Okay, we did it, and for ourselves. I'm just so happy that we finally got the visa. I'm happy too. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You know, when I imagine how you sacrificed everything, I feel like carrying the whole world for you. I want to make you this promise. If loving you will cause the last breath in me, I will gladly die for you. <laughs> Nobody's dying here. Come. Where are you taking me to? That's good boy. That's good boy. Now, take it and put it into that pot. Put it into the pot boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yayo! Jabulon! Jayo Jabulon Jayo Jabulon <laughs> Kendo the stubborn fly Let me see how you travel out of the country Kulumani Atakama Atakama Kulumani Baba <laughs>
the root of all evil. Men have sold their hearts to the devil. That cherish their wealth and their creator. Be careful what you do. Money is the root of all evil. Men have sold their hearts to the devil. They cherish their wealth and their creator. Be careful whilst you do. What shall it profit a man after gaining the wealth of this world? But the wealth of God is unlimited Oh, where do you belong? That's a way that seems right In the eyes of the man The end of it is eternal death Money, money, money Every day and night What have you achieved? Men have sold their hearts to the devil And cherish their wealth and their creator Be careful whilst you do Money is the root of all evil Men have sold their hearts to the devil Cherish their wealth and their creator Be careful whilst you do Money is the root of all evil Men have sold their hearts to the devil And cherish their wealth and their creator Men have sold their hearts 